What's going on? My name is Boca Floja. Uh, I'm a poet, MC, activist, uh, born in Mexico City, living in New York. And the way I started getting involved with hip hop culture was through this process of immigration from the from Mexican workers going back and forth from Mexico to the United States. So I'm part of one of the first generations of hip hop artists in Mexico City. So the, the, the way at the time we we uh, we met the culture was we're talking like late 80s, early 90s. So we uh, we're like way before the, 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 the internet as an accessible tool. So the way it was just like tapes, like cassette tapes that all these workers brought to Mexico uh, during the holidays or when they were uh, on their trips to back to Mexico so that's that's how I was first introduced to hip-hop and from then uh, we started like this uh, uh, the, the first uh, uh, meetings or reunions of the, the movement in Mexico back in the early 90s I'd like to find out how did you come to the decision to mix the politics into your hip hop? Was there any one <coughs> time that you just thought I'm going to be political, or was it a number of things that built up to it? Yeah, I think it was. It was definitely a, a, a number of things that, through time, I realized how 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 uh, important is to recognize the fact that art by itself could be useful to 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 participate in, in different struggles and can be used as a platform to connect the people the communities with process of transformation and, and different processes of politicization so um, at the very beginning of my career I was not really aware of that of that power but several experiences just uh, made me assume that responsibility as a, as a, as a social communicator and as, as, a, as a poet that is thinking not only for not only to satisfy himself but, um, but to contribute somehow some way within his community context so that's how I first like started to be more uh, involved in that kind of work. For some, some of the people out there watching this that maybe haven't heard of yourself or, or your music, um, what would you say are the main themes or messages you try to portray throughout your music? Well, basically, I'm trying to use my my, my music as a way to, to stimulate. Oh, sorry, it's really cool. Stimulate. Uh, critical I think that's like one, one of my major uh, motivations. So, you, the use of hip hop as as a, as a uh, non orthodox pedagogy, as a different way to, to share knowledge. And um, at the end of the day, like the main mission for, for me is is, is is that my art should be used as a, as a tool. For, of, of an emancipatory process, you know, so, you know like, like another tool to be uh, useful for different struggles in order to emancipate ourselves, you know, like, topics as colonialism are, are really relevant in my body of work. I'm glad you touched on that colonialism. I wanted if we could to expand a bit on how much of an impact imperialism and colonialism has throughout not just maybe America or from your home city but just globally and what we as a, a people and movement can do to combat um, the imperialism and globalization that's happening across the world. Yeah, I, I think that the, the colonial element uh, is really present and is really relevant. The thing is that the way the system works, sometimes uh, 
made people confused even within the, the process of uh, uh, struggle or like liberation processes because in some cases the, the debates are just centered in in, um, in class issues but they always like stay away from the racial element so there's a lot of uh, um, situations that we gotta we gotta go back to understand how was the colonial process in order to understand what what is the actual condition uh, not only economic or social but also like our, our, our psyche the way our, our minds are working due to that process so we've been part of the uh, of of, uh, of now this this neo-colonial ways that are constantly affecting our like on a daily basis so in terms of like how how come colonialism is is uh, is relevant with like the artistic community well the, the majority of the of the cultural production is always like white oriented in, in the majority of the case the cases so the, the work that we do is always trying to, to reclaim and to uh, question all those uh, cultural forms of, of production so that that's that we think like bring this like uh, decolonial process to, to art is like really is fundamental Because of your, I suppose your message in your music um, and speaking about colonialism, imperialism, have you personally faced any kind of backlash um, about the messages that you bring within your music? Yeah, the, the 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 power structures are never never comfortable with this type of message, and also within the the, the hip hop community, so within the hip hop context. Uh, there's always like a really narrow uh, understanding of certain things in terms of what is supposed to be like the, the authentic hip-hop or what are the, the topics that are like uh, more relevant to the, the hip-hop community so in some cases the, the, the topics that I'm bringing to the table uh, are kind of like not, not easy to digest for some some of the some of the people but on the other hand uh, I, I've been able I, I've been able to connect with, with with people that are that doesn't necessarily consider themselves as, as like part of the hip hop community which I consider is like relevant this is like breaking certain boundaries and, and I'm reaching like a wider possibility to, to connect with Where can, for people out there, where can listen to your music or get in contact with you? Well, I have a, a like my official site is called emancipation.com. Is uh, emancipation with double s dot com, and I'm on Facebook as Boca Flow. I have a Twitter page which is Boca Quilombo. And uh, I'm on Bandcamp as bocafloja.bandcamp.com And you can find uh, my music on iTunes and on YouTube So basically just go to the website and, and there's links for, for everything Okay, thank you very much for this interview with I'm Hip Hop Thank you for, thank you for, for having me No problem Thanks